領域展開無料空所Jujutsu Kaisen is getting a lot of hype in anime world right now, with the episode featuring Sukuna's awesome battle with Maharaga and using his domain expansion, the Malevolent Shrine. Shout out to animators for making such an amazing scene. I enjoyed this battle so much that I watched it thoroughly, but a question popped in my head? Between Sukuna and Gojo's domain, which one is better? Sukuna's domain has a wide range of attack that cuts anything and anyone like chopping vegetables with a kitchen knife but despite this massive power, it lacks the power to keep enemies in. Well, it's not like usual enemies can survive the attacks to run. On the other hand, Gojo's domain, the limitless void, keeps the opponent in closed place where they get infinite information every second, which their minds can't process and it looks like they feel and know everything while feeling and knowing nothing that drives them crazy and tortures them. In terms of power, they're both above every jujitsu sorcerer and curses, but which one is better? In terms of using it for the sake of others, Gojo has the upper hand because it can protect the person he's touching inside his domain, and he can use it for a very short time so it doesn't damage humans so much while the enemies are also mobilized. But in terms of brute force, Sukuna has the upper hand because the malevolent shrine destroys any human being, object, or curse inside. Now, let's see their domains in action against each other. It seems like it's a tie but there is one thing. The domain specialize in keeping others inside, but they're weak against attacks from outside, so when Sukuna and Gojo use the domain expansion at the same time, Sukuna destroys Gojo's domain from outside and continues attacking him. So the winner of this tag of domain is Sukuna.